Okay, so um, we talked before about the customary systems with the quarts, pints, gallons, um, and cups. Today we're just going to talk about the metric system, which is so simple. So they have milliliters and liters. Milliliters is basically any kind of liquid uh, measurement less than a liter. So a milliliter, one actual milliliter, is so little, it's like, oh, you can't see. It's just this like itty bitty drop. If you think of like um, the droppers that you used in children's house to like pour, to do drops of water, it's a milliliter. It's like basically a little more than a drop of water. It's very small. Um, so then a liter is, I like to think of it, if you have a Nalgene, a liter is an algae. That's, I mean, if it, mine was filled up, of course, but this, is a, this holds a liter of liquid. Okay. If you get a big Coke bottle, this is also a liter. Okay. And it does say on these here, one liter. Okay. So you have milliliters and liters. Anything less than a liter. Oh, I also have some lime juice that's also a liter. And anything that's going to be less than a, a liter, they measure in milliliters. Okay, so this dishwashing soap, it's not quite a liter. It's 709 milliliters. And they abbreviate that. Oh, lots of light. <coughs> ah, there you go. 709 milliliters, ML. Okay. <laughs> So one thing you can do is look around your house and find things that are liters and then see if you can find any liquids that also say how many milliliters they are. So that means that they're less than a liter. Pretty simple. Oh, and I did forget to say there are a hundred, no, just kidding, a thousand milliliters in a liter. So if you see on the side of my Nalgene, on this side it counts up to 900, okay? So each notch here represents a hundred more milliliters because there are a thousand milliliters in a liter. Okay, so your project with the milliliters and liters is you're going to go on a scavenger hunt in your house to find the liquid volume of things in milliliters and liters. Okay, so I want you to do at least seven things in your house, okay? Um, be careful with the heavy things. Okay, so here's how you're going to write it can title your work Leader Scavenger Hunt, write the name of the object, and then the liquid volume in the other column. Okay, so I found a few things. So I found some sesame oil. And so how I found the how many liters or milliliters it is, is I look at the bottom, and if I see here, it says 148 lowercase m capital L. That's how we abbreviate milliliters. So I know that this is 148 ml. It also says 5 FLOZ, and we'll talk about what that means very soon, but right now we're gonna focus on these milliliters. Okay, I also found my favorite hot sauce, Cholula, and I see on the bottom, it says 150 ml, so I know that's 150 milliliters. My favorite salad dressing, I found it on the bottom, 236 ml. Okay, so you might have to look pretty close if it has a lot of words. I found a big thing of vinegar. Okay, so with the big thing of vinegar, over here it says 3.78 L. So what do you think that L stands for? Liters, yeah. So I wrote 3.78 L. That, the 0.78 just means that it's not quite made it to four, but it's over three. Okay, and then I found my roommate's ginger ale lemonade, and this is exactly two liters, and it even writes out liters. When you see big soda things like this at the store, these are normally going to be two liters. Okay, so that is my list. So if you want to see with the liters, I wrote capital L, which is the abbreviation for liters, and ML, which is the abbreviation for milliliters. Okay, so find at least seven things um, in your house and make a list of these things. And we'll compare later and we'll see if anybody has the same objects. Okay, 
Also, if they're your favorite, like your favorite hot sauce, I would love to know how many milliliters your favorite hot sauce has.